Alrighty then, hello and once again good evening YouTube. Welcome back to some more Grand Turismo. Um, whatever, it's two, number two, this is two, okay, yes. Last time, what did we do last time? We did like the K Car Cup thing, but today we are not going to be doing the FF Car Challenge because my CRX is t top of the line. But, um, we struggled to win. I mean, I, I could maybe do this race, and if they spawn an NSX at midfield, I mean, I, I'm still not even sure how I won that. that. That one was still kind of an incredible moment. But, um, this one at Trial Mountain, which would be our first trip to Trial Mountain in the entire game, is 394, and, um, even I think that is too much for my, uh, fantastic CRX to handle. There's not much, um, else that I can do either. Um, we are we are pretty much past the slow cars, um, the the tiny cars at this point. Like even the endurance races, are not going to be able to see anything as far as that's concerned. And then the rally events. I mean, just forget about that. Completely, just forget about that. Don't even think about that. And and we already did the Japan National, so unfortunately we can't do that. No, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a trip to the car shop and we are going to fulfill a childhood dream of mine okay we're going to go it's south city south city is america i don't know if that's um if that's supposed to be offensive we're being called hicks by the enlightened japanese but hey what you gonna do um mustang gt98 this has 224 horsepower which is coincidentally a low amount of horsepower. We are going to get a white Ford Mustang from 1998 so that I can finally have my dad's Mustang back. Um, I don't remember when my dad got rid of this. It was pretty, pretty early on. Um, I don't know when, but I know that the reason that he got rid of it is because he got too many speeding tickets with it, so, yeah. Anyway, white Mustang. So, with 224 horsepower, we can indeed check out these special events right here. This is already more than the CR the CRX, but you can see 493 is what expects me to have at midfield raceway. So we're not even gonna bother with that. We also have um not sedan, it's not a sedan, it's a muscle car, I guess. But this is probably going to, Okay, it's 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 okay, mm, it's an IA it's an IA license, so that's probably gonna be a lot. It says free. But, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. No, where we're going to take this is we're going to take this to the Gran Turismo League and we are going to do the U.S. Nationals. To start things off with a fat Laguna Seca race in the B-Class. Let us begin. Yeah, um, it was pretty early on when my dad got rid of his fucking Mustang. I was probably like, um, God, I was really little. We hadn't even moved out of the apartments yet, I think, when he got rid of that. Anyway, you can already see the difference in acceleration pace like this. This thing is way stronger than the, um... Than the, um... Than the CRX, like you can already see. We are we are booking it down the aisle here. I, I could have gotten the Mustang GT, but I, get, but I got this Mustang just because we're not really going to need that much speed to be able to win a lot of this. And I think that if this car has the ability to put turbo in it, it will probably get pretty close to 400 horsepower, is my, is my expectation. And I think we'd be able to win the majority of races that I'd take this car to with 400 horsepower. But we're starting off with the um, default, brand new, off the line Mustang. And I don't know what's going on with the graphics on the rear bumper. That's, um, that's curious. I don't know what these uh I don't know what these uh forward and back backslashes are. I am taken aback by how well this car turns. We are just mm. oh I'm losing to a focus. I'm losing to JC, good lord. It's not a black Ford focus, that can't be JC. But yeah, um I don't remember much of this car. All I know is that it existed. We were going to go to South Dakota one day. And my mom told me, okay, you need to pack a bunch of CDs so that we can listen to them while in the car. And, like, I, I picked out all the best stuff. I, I picked out Millennium by Backstreet Boys. I picked out the... I had the Shrek 1 soundtrack on CD. 
I know I know we packed those for sure. I didn't go anywhere without the Backstreet Boys Millennium CD though. But then he fucking something happened and he had to take his pickup instead and his pickup didn't have a CD player, so we did not get to listen to I'm a Believer by Smash Mouth during that trip. That was a depressing moment. Very depressing moment indeed. But um yeah. I'm clearly faster than the Ford Focus. Um, I don't know why I'm sucking so badly in this right now. I'm just not used to dr Oh, no. So, I'm not winning this. And we're back in the lead. <laughs> oh my lord, if this... If this is a sign of things to come, it's just... It's just, like I said, the, the, the rear-wheel drive cars in this game are just garbage. Like, the fact that you have 100% steering input at all times, you're just brutalizing. Brutalizing the car. Like, it just wants to wreck. All it wants to do is just spin out. No. No, I'm not losing to a Ford car. Okay? Oh Lord, have mercy! Yeah, it's just it's just it's just one hundred percent steering input when you're heavy on the brakes. It's just rear wheel drive cars are impossible to drive in this game just due, due to the lack of um, pressure sensitivity. That's 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 really it. Like if if it weren't for the lack of pressure sensitivity, we'd be fine. But the problem is that we have no pressure sensitivity. So yeah. $4,000, I already forgot how much I spent on this. I think it was like, what, like, 17,000 we spent on this. So we've already made most of that back. That's good. This game just, this game just doles out money like there's no tomorrow. It's, it's, honestly, like we spent a lot of money on the, um, on the, um, on the CRX, but, um, we, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe the reason for that is because you can't get the money back, because when you stuff upgrades, <gasps> ugh, please stop burping, when you stuff upgrades into the cars, you literally can't get that back, so when you spend $10,000 on engine balancing to go from 100 to 102 horsepower, you don't get that money back. That's just gone forever. Because when you try to sell the car, it's only worth $1,000, it's like, okay. It's like, I don't know where we're selling these cars to where it depreciates that much and they completely disregard any upgrades you've put into the car. I don't know, man. But we're going up against that... We're going up against that Plymouth from the uh, Clubman Cup. That was a bitch. So... I could, be, I could beat it in the CRX. Let's see if I can handle it in a Mustang. Oh, and we got two green Mustangs in this. Look at this. Look at these twins. Lord have mercy, dude. But yeah, um, yeah. This game came out when Plymouth was still making vehicles. Good lord, dude, that's amazing. It's like whenever I look back at NASCAR Thunder 2004 and see how many drivers, like, there's only three left from that game that are even racing. It's like looking back at a game like this. Plymouth was still making cars. Pontiac was still making cars. Ugh. What a time, dude. And this was the height. This was the height of luxury back in 1999, this Mustang right here, dude. This was the peak of American engineering, and you can tell. You can tell just how good it is by how it uh, just strafes straight through the um, corkscrew there. This, but I was talking about how this is Mazda Laguna Seca before. No, this, this was not Mazda Laguna Seca back when this game came out. It was just Laguna Seca. So, I guess... Um, the developers really did like Toyota a lot more. This is just an American road course is all that it has like, I think, I think F1 might have run here, or like a lower series, a FIA sanctioned series maybe. But you can see like the Plymouth is, is way faster than I am. Oh, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did in the first race. First to last in this stupid hairpin. Great, dude. That's just marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, it doesn't turn, though. And apparently Ford Cougars do exist. I have learned this fact. Apparently 
Yeah, because like the like the Mercury Cougar in this game costs like seventeen thousand, but the Ford Cougar costs like forty thousand, and like there was literally no difference in performance between the two. So it's like, oh, okay, are we talking like Australian Ford? Maybe I don't know, but like the point is that I'm trying. The point that I'm trying to make is that. <laughs> The point I'm trying to make is that this is all very unusual. All very unusual stuff. And I don't think I'm winning this race because these guys, this guy's gonna block me into this hairpin, corkscrew, whatever you want to call this turn. He's in my way, you're in my way. I can't drive in a straight line because rear wheel drive cars suck in this game. Actually, everything sucks in this game. It's just, you know, you kind of just have to survive. And now this final corner is gonna be a nightmare because you gotta. You gotta slow down so much, it's the, for the same reason that the hairpin's a nightmare. The car doesn't want to handle, yeah, yep, yep, nope, 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 nope. No. 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 Get back where you belong, bitch. Alright, winner! Cool, that's two races that I've won on the first try, guys, and those were both GT98s. That those weren't even the SVT. They, they weren't even the SVT Cobras. They'll be in the next race. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll have to face off against them in the next event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five thousand dollars back up to forty-six thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars. Very cool indeed. I am excited about this fact. Can we complete the U.S. Nationals without? upgrading the car. We're about to find out as the next race is sure to begin in a moment. After this game takes forever to save. I'm so glad I'm playing this on PS3 without the risk of it corrupting the save file. Ha ha were there corrupted save files on PS1? Or was the technology just such that it wasn't a problem? Because I don't think I ever had a corrupted save file in my PS1. But then again, I don't think I ever uh, tried to take out... Oh, this car, this requires a hundred more horsepower than the previous race. We'll give it a shot. This episode's going to be too short if I don't give it a shot. So we'll give it a shot. Oh dear, I think it might be time to upgrade the car. Very possible that that's the case. Very, very possible indeed. But we'll see. What kind of terrifying vehicles are we going to have to face off in this one? Okay, so it's Grand Sport, Z28 Camaro, that's probably the SVT. Uh, what's in front of me? Is that a Shelby 1? I think that's a Shelby 1. Oh, and look at this! Oh my god, it's the, it's the Mustang from, the, uh, from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. It's the same color and everything. Oh my god, dude, that's amazing. That's amazing, I love it. Okay, well, into the hairpin. Not wrecking, surprisingly. Probably the best I've taken the hairpin this entire this entire episode. Episode. It's very cool how we're going to the exact same track three times. It's very original. How many tracks does this game have? Oh, the Mustang. What's his name? Sean. Sean driving off the track there. That's his name. Good movie. I don't even care, dude. I don't even care if it doesn't have half the cast. It was still... It, I mean, they... It was... It, they should have... It shouldn't have... Been, well, I mean, they, they put the label Fast and Furious on it so it would sell. But in all... On all actuality, it's like a spin-off movie. But then they retcon that. Like in... Like in Fast and Furious 6 and suddenly... Oh, wait! This entire film actually mattered! I don't think I'm winning this. Gonna be honest, not liking my odds. Oh my. Of course, all the Mustangs are back here. Meanwhile, everyone else is up here. Yeah, cool. I had this book when I was little. I might still have it, but it was called Mustang Rules. But if you flip it to the other side, it's called Camaro Rules. And it's like a side-by-side -side comparison of like, on a drag strip, Mustangs and Camaros. Like the direct comparison. It's like Ford versus Chevy, but in a magazine. It was very cool, actually. There was like a lot of actual information in there. You know, it's all very cool stuff. So here's the best that I've taken this hairpin on the second lap. Too bad it doesn't matter, because I'm not winning this. Okay, that's not happening. I thought I could maybe get like third, but no, it's not happening. 
Okay, so we have failed to win race number three in the U.S. Nationals, which means you know what time it is. It's time for upgrades. Do, 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 do. Upgrades. Let's see how much I need for this. Okay, so FR challenge, 295 horsepower max on that. Then we can go over here, take a look at like muscle car cup. That's free, but I'm probably gonna want as much as I could possibly get for that. I'm gonna go on out on a limb and say it's probably not a turbo car. No, I didn't. I didn't think so. 207 horsepower. Isn't that less than what they said it was in the stupid ass uh, place where I bought it? NA tuna. We could drive this in the NA Cup. 309. $65,000 for 309. Um, yeah, that's a bit much actually. We can get a, we can get a computer for five whole horsepower. Okay, that's that's no, that's concerning. Uh oh, 221 for 4800. Um, I was hoping we would increase by a lot more than this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's not good. Oh no. We'll be fine, dude. It's fine. Mustang SVT Cobra 98. It is 304 horsepower. That's more than I, well, I mean, it went down. It went down when I bought it by like 10. Bruh. How much did it say that it was? 224. Bitch. But it's, but, but it says 207 in the, oh my God, dude. Okay. So, actually, we're gonna get the SVT Cobra. Still in white, don't worry. Don't worry, that hasn't changed. It's still white, there we go. Hey, it's like nothing changed, except it has a lot more horsepower, apparently. We go in here and we'll find out that it's fucking muffler. How much? 302. Okay, well, it's way closer in this one. Okay, bruh, let's, okay, forget about it, forget about it. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get back in the other Mustang. Other Mustang is gonna be get, gotten back in, okay? Okay, back into this. I cannot get over the fact that it's 207. That is insane. I don't need much to be able to win this. We can we can slap on the stage one NA tune-up. That, that, this feels like a waste. It, I feel like I need more than that. It's 269. 12,500 for that. Uh, there's 12,500 I'm never getting back. And we'll put in the computer chip. 276. Okay, now we got some true Japanese uh, engine pace here. 276, the magic number. Okay, I have no money. Let's go and do the stupid race. A tip number two with this race. Oh, look at that. We got a challenger over there. We got a. Oh, that might not even be a challenger. That might be. No, it's a charger. Yeah, dude, look at that. Or maybe it's a Challenger, I don't know. It looked like a Challenger from the front, and it kind of looks like a Challenger from the back, but it kind of also looks like a 71 Charger. It, it's, it, it's a Dodge. Basically, it's a Dodge. And it's also slow, which is good. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so used to the car not being fast there. Okay, well, we're just going to start over, I guess. Attempt number three at this race. You see, it's like it's spawning different cars in every single time. Now there's a Mustang. Now there's another Mustang in this race. There's like three Mustangs in this race. Okay, the Mustangs were the slow ones in the in the previous attempt, so let's, uh, well, not the previous attempt, the, the attempt before that. See? See, look at how slow he is. This might be my best shot at winning this race. There is definitely a significant improvement in performance going on right here, but um, the Corvette is still very fast. Like, that's the only competition that I have. Like, they're right up my ass. It may appear that they are right up my ass, but, like, I'm just following this dude in front of me, and, like, that's really my only competition at this point. And they are trash. They are trash through the corkscrew. So, we are going to use that to our advantage, and we are going to come through the always sideways. Oh, did you see that Corvette just get, just hook loose. Hook loose during the downhill section. But I'm right up his ass, so this is, a, this is my best shot at winning this race yet. Oh, not if I get on the brakes in the grass. And they like to drive off the track. Like, the AI is just kind of garbage. Oh, dear. Here we go again. And I'm not in second. Very cool. You know, I feel like it's not too much to ask for. To not wreck in the exact same spot. 
every single time we do this race. I feel like that's not much to ask for, but apparently it is. Attempt number four at this race. It spawned in a Corvette Grand Sport, which means I'm not winning. Well, I'm not sure what the fuck that was supposed to be. You can see he's fucking sideways over there, basically wrecking. But the car can't just drive into the corkscrew without fucking off into one direction, so... Starting over again. Attempt number five of this garbage race. Alright, well I certainly did not expect it to win on, the, on, on this attempt. I was doing way worse. But I won at that time because they all absolutely exploded into the corkscrew. Um, you can't even blame me for that. That was their own fault. Yeah, they all just, they all exploded there. I mean, you can't even blame me on that. I cannot take the blame for that. That absolutely was their own fault and no one else's. Anyway, that is the end of the U.S. National Series. I get 7,000 entire dollars. Now we're back up to 10,000 something there. That was, uh, pretty sad. Pretty sad is, what I would use, is the word I would use to describe that. So there you go, there's the US GT, US Nationals, yippee. But kind of as expected, I think that's the only thing that I can do with this car at this point. I mean, Clubman Stage, Route 5, but like, yeah, yeah, these two are going to be a uh, little on the uh, concerning side when it comes to that. And the Mustang itself has depreciated down to 4,322. That is pathetic. Unfortunately, our time with the Mustang GT has come to an end. Thanks for the ride, but it's okay. We now have this other 98 Mustang to build up from 302. So, good times indeed. We'll see you for whatever we do in the next part of this game. Thanks for watching this from Comic Cause Games, and I'll see you whatever I do next. Bye! Going 40 miles an hour into this corner and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking Chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good. And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks.